uh, it's uh, early October so basically this is the time of year that I go ahead and take down all the chives and uh, as well as other herbs to begin drying them for the winter. Now the drying method that I use for chives is fairly simple basically cutting them up and then putting them onto sheet pans with some paper towels underneath. Uh, what I'm trying this year is something a little different. I'm doing an experiment. So I've got the sheet pans. Um, this one is lined with paper towels. This is a perforated sheet pan. Um, so it has holes in the bottom of it. And as you can see, I've uh, set up an experiment here where we've got paper towel on the perforated. So you've got air circulation from the bottom. And then as well, just putting the chives themselves right onto the perforated. So we'll see what happens. Look, it's been uh, four hours now. Um, the standard system that I've used in the past um, is working out nicely. Um, these are still a little moist, but I'll bring them inside tonight, and uh, by tomorrow morning they'll probably be dry. Um, over here, the ones that um, the ones that I put on the perforated pan are already pretty much dry, as you can see. Um, these are pretty much dry, the ones from the perforated pan. They probably need just another 15 minutes out here. And the ones that are on the perforated pan but on the towel um, are definitely drier than the ones from over here. So uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, what I learned today is definitely these perforated pans speed up the drying process substantially. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any reason to have the paper towels underneath this um, to absorb the, mo mo absorb the moisture because um, the moisture over here is being uh, wicked away by the air. However, if you are going to use, you know, a regular non-perforated sheet pan, you definitely have to put paper towels down um, to absorb that liquid or it's just going to end up... Uh, rotting and getting quite messy there. The, the first batch of chives that I already worked with, um, which you see over here is already dry, um, and uh, I've already started to place it into its jars. This batch was done on a regular sheet pan with paper towel. So we're going to get the same results, but I'm curious to see what kind of results we get out of the, the other. Thanks. That's Chive Dry 101. Ciao for now.